everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines where we are still trying to infiltrate the society of Leopold. Although infiltrate might not be the right word because we're not being very stealthy about it. Um, we already killed like a bunch of people on the outside. There's two people left on the roof but I'm just going to ignore them. So yeah, I guess now we gotta go inside. And I will try my luck with one of these back doors. Let's see if we can lockpick them. Alright. This one's not too difficult. Alright. Ooh, we got some laser here. Um, and clearly we already have a hunter over here. Can I target you from here? I can. Oh, there's another one over here as well. But he doesn't see me, funnily enough. Oh well, but now, now they're seeing me. Okay, um, let me use some fortitude here. And let's try some pestilence. That works well against a large number of enemies. See if it's going to kill them completely, or if I nope, I have to uh, use some other skills as well. Um, how about spectral wolf for you? And it looks like we have one guy left over here. Let's replenish our blood a little bit <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, Bloodsucker Communion definitely is really helpful in replenishing my blood. Okay, what do we got over here? Power, heat sick, help quit. Okay. Um, what does heat sick do, I wonder? Oh, I need a password, of course. But I have pretty decent hacking now. Okay. Human vampire. Oh, okay. So I can change the detection mechanism to only react to humans instead of vampires. I'm guessing it's now uh, detecting vampires. So let's uh, change it to human. There we go. And yeah, now it's... Uh, in a different color and I can just walk through here. I mean, not that it matters anymore because everyone is dead already, so even if this was to trip off any kind of alarm, it wouldn't really matter. But I mean, there might be more people somewhere around here, judging from my indicator anyway. Got another one here. Um, Sure, let's do the same. That's a weird password though. Human. Oh, and by the way, um, I actually had a look at my stats to see what stat increased after talking to Beckett um, about the sarcophagus and its scholarship. So he told me about Dracula and it gave me one more point in scholarship because I'm pretty sure I hadn't increased scholarship to the maximum. <laughs> so that was a pretty valuable point he gave me because um, it would cost me like 12 points if I had uh, taken it normally. So <laughs> that's kind of neat. Not sure if I really need that much scholarship. I mean, it did increase my research. So maybe um, I would at some point be able to read uh, some of these skill books that require high research. Anyway, clearly there's someone very close by. Then again, they might be on a different level. As we've seen before, this does happen sometimes. Ooh. What do we got here? Oh, I guess I'll take it. Huh. <laughs> what the hell? What is all of this though? 
Um, a box containing six shotgun turns for the Utica. I'm more full. Okay. I don't need this. Are they using like fireworks or artery shells here? <laughs> what the hell is this all about? Um, anyway, let's move on. Let's be careful just in case we missed someone in one of these rooms. No, we seem to be fine. Despite the red warning. Alright, what is this? A journal. Okay, this might be something we can read. Um, journal. This journal is inscribed with the initials GB. As in Grünfeldbach, maybe? We have tracked Lacroix to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. <laughs> you make him sound so much cooler than he actually is. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not Lacroix, I fear, nor his underlings. Well, you should, maybe. But there is fear in my heart nonetheless. An ancient evil is staring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hell spot. Well, what will you say about the battle that just took place um, in the last few minutes? Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Grout. Oh. We have been unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. Okay, yeah, I mean we did see him in the Grout Mansion. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ankaran sarcophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its arrival seems convenient in light of Lacroix's recent arrival. Something um, is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. Okay, so as we expected, it was not Grünfeld Bach who killed him. I mean, why would he deny it in his own journal? Surely he would brag about something like this, right? I ran across a young vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt, one of his sucklings come to visit its master. <laughs> I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems to be great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of Lacroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the father's. The Encaron sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it, and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces my theory. I now know that these may very well be the end times, and the times of the final struggle, struggle may well be upon us. I dreamed of Lacroix last night, <laughs> of his hideous visage burned to ash in a great inferno. May it be that this is a vision given to me by God and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler reported a disturbance at the vampire coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems there was a party and that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. He could say no more of the matter, but I smell Lacroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of the evil. Is this like the stuff we found in that villa where the Chimiche um, turned everything into flesh and bones and uh, furniture made from skin? <laughs> 
I had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening. I know not the origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart and I will fight for righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Johansen. Okay, now it's getting interesting. I took Johansen from his hotel room last evening and brought him back here to the monastery. I am convinced that Lacroix will try to find him, and he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren uh, have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, <laughs> as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these last dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, clearly he's quite the fanatic. But at least uh, we can confirm that Johansson is in this place somewhere. So I just have to keep looking for him. Um, okay, this is a door and we have another laser over here that we can probably disable or, well, change at least. And they use the same password every time. That's not very clever. But then again, they don't strike me as like the most clever people. Um, let me have a look at this first before I continue through the laser. I think I can hear something. Oh, yep. There's definitely people here. As a matter of fact, there's quite a few and they haven't noticed a thing. <laughs> Let's give them some pestilence. Alright, I hope that this is going to take care of quite a few of them. Some of them definitely survived. <laughs> Let's give them another round of pestilence. Alright, let's see if this guy over here is going to survive. Uh, it looks like he does. But presumably they are at least weakened now. Alright, let me grab some more blood from the guy over here. And there's some from you as well. Just to make sure that I always have uh, enough blood available. Okay, um, I think that's all of them. Uh, let's see if we can find anything of interest. I've got a bunch of weapons that I don't need. Vampire Apocrypha. Well, this might be interesting. And a key. Society of Leopold interior key. Um. What is that? <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing it's supposed to be the Encaran sarcophagus, although it looks different than before. And then we have another painting or drawing of Cain killing Abel. Can't like take this with me. Anyway, um, I just got something to read. This book is called Vampire Apocrypha: Unidentified Sarcophagus Discovered by Julius of Gaul, 10,068 10, A.D. near Ankara Ottoman Empire. The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown and is mostly considered a myth. If not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re-entombed the artifact, there would be almost no historical record of the artifact, save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. 
Historians and theologians alike have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin, although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from the area of ancient Sumer of Meso or Mesopotamia. <laughs> it has never been opened, and therefore any myth pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are a total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king, whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Gaul describe the artifact as being a nefarious and dread thing, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. <laughs> he attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon sitting his, setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably, uncontrollably and promptly died. <laughs> okay. So, it was discovered like a thousand years ago already, and then just buried again. Interesting. Um, but I mean, a thousand years ago, people would have like um, superstitious assumptions about something like this, and uh, we probably shouldn't think too much of this. Oh, what is this? Art of the Quick Draw by Ned Nederlander. Oh, is this like a skill book I can use? Uh, okay, I need research of eight. And ten for this one. I mean, how much research do I have now with my increased scholarship? Seven. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe at some point I will just put some more stuff into intelligence and then I will have enough research for this. It's not a priority at the moment. I'm guessing that skill book is like for uh, ranged weapons, which I don't really use that much anyway, so I think I'll be fine. Anyway, um, this seems to be a dead end, so I guess I'll be checking out... Oh, hang on a second. Is this over here something? Nope. But yeah, let's check out um, the other door that we've seen. This one. Okay, I actually need a key for this door. Okay. Stop right there! Um. It seems that someone is already suspicious. <laughs> How? I just came in here. Alright. We got one guy over here. Oh, well. And now the rest are coming as well. Let me retreat for a second. Just to make sure I don't get overwhelmed by them. I mean, I have a nice choke point over here where I can maybe collect them. Oh well, they didn't actually follow me. Uh, I mean, the AI of these uh, characters is sometimes a little bit hard to figure out why they do what they do. Alright. Do we have more of you guys down here? And at the moment, my indicator is green. And, well, this seems to be another dead end. Huh. I mean, that can't be right. Gotta be something around here. Oh, is this a door? No. I mean, it might be. Maybe there's like a hidden way to open it, like one of the lanterns. <laughs> I mean, we've seen like hidden levers in lanterns before, but um, this time, this is clearly not what's going on. Okay, um, 
Yeah, I mean, there's gotta be some hidden door somewhere around here. Why else would there be guards and... A key locking this place. So let's uh, investigate all the walls and see if there's anything we can interact with. At least I hope that it's going to show up. Oh, hang on a second. This is something I can interact with. Ah, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, let's go down. So we have some underground caves here. Figures. Okay, okay, I think uh, this is the way we need to go. Yep. Oh dear, um, this is going down deep. And I can already see some people down there. Probably can't target them from all the way up here, but if I get a little bit closer... Okay, I'm counting two of them at the moment. Um, right, maybe let's get a little bit closer before we target them. You get a wolf, you get some bats. And <laughs> that's it. I barely need to use my sword anymore. I still may want to get it out, just in case. Alright. Again, more artillery shells. <laughs> what kind of war are you expecting here? Um, okay, we have more ammo that I don't need. So, I guess uh, there's really only one way for us to continue. Okay, at the moment we seem to be safe. So we can probably run. Oh dear, um, we have choices. <laughs> Let's try this one first. Okay, numbers are going up again. There we go. Yes, I suppose, but I don't know the man who can hold his breath for that long. It is not men we need to worry about. Ah, uh, yes, I see your point. Then. <laughs> what are they talking about? Okay, um. They're walking away now. So let's just do this again. One wolf, one swarm of bats, both are dead and we are back at the same blood level. Perfect. Um, okay. What's going on here? Oh, I see. They put like people in the cages and then put them in the water and see if they drown. <laughs> like some old witchcraft inquisition except with vampires huh oh there's actually someone over here no, no more, oh it's no more, no more it's ash fire. Oh, fire. yeah apparently it's ash rivers how did you get here you ain't looking too pretty anymore hollywood 
after all the trouble I went through to get you out, you got caught. Okay, so he was trying to leave the city and the hunters caught him anyway, even though I killed all of them in the sewers. Ah, uh, okay. You... They ruined my face. The fire... I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Keep your voice down. You look horrible. I bet it will. <laughs> yeah, they, uh... I'll put some markings on his face, like crosses. Um, keep your voice down, you look horrible, but it will. Yeah? I wouldn't talk, so they burnt me. Again. And again, and again. Their eyes, they, they enjoyed it. Before they come back, I'm begging you. Let me out. Uh, I'll look for a way out, Ash. You got careless, you deserve to be in here. I got something that might help you heal up a few of these wounds. Do I? I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than <laughs> oh, okay, any. so I'm giving him like a bag of blood and I got some humanity for it. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back, you deserve to be here. <laughs> yeah, if I find a way to get you out of here, I, I will let you out of here. No one deserves this kind of stuff. Also, I'm, I'm guessing the wounds, like the markings, on his face are going to heal eventually, right? I mean, vampires can regenerate quite a bit. So maybe I can just lockpick this lock 10. Ugh. Yeah, um, even with blood buff, that's not going to work. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Ash. I hope I can find a key for this because, um, I'm afraid I'm not skilled enough to actually open the, the lock. Uh, did one of the guys drop a key? No. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't see any obvious key around here. But <laughs> if I find one, I'll be back for you. So I guess I'll. Uh, head back to this place and we will continue through this tunnel now and there's already more of them okay actually quite a few let's see if we can target this guy first all right Careful here. Let's use some fortitude and maybe some pestilence. But first, uh, let me replenish some blood again. All right, pestilence it is. And if one of you survives, I'm going to. Oh, there's, there's already more of them coming. All right. Oh, um, we totally destroyed these boxes. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more than I thought. Uh, let's make sure I always have enough blood available. There we go. Now this guy. All right. Oh yeah, and there's like one all the way over there. So be careful about him. Okay, I have enough blood for now. So now let's make sure we kill one guy all the way at the back. I need to find like a good angle to approach him. Um, this might not be the best. Maybe I'm just going to rush towards him and use the spectral wolf as soon as I'm close enough. Oh, well, there's another one though. All right. Um, I guess this one I will just kill with my sword. 
Oh, and we have another one over here. So. Okay. Is that all for now? It looks like this is all for now. <laughs> they certainly um, have no shortage of manpower. I continue to underestimate um, their numbers here. Oh, hang on a second. It's a key! Okay. Society of Leopold Cell key. Which I guess is the one for Ashes Cell. Alright. Um, yeah, they want to give me a lot of ammo, but <laughs> I don't need any of it. My uh, disciplines and a few slashes of my katana are really all I need to take care of these guys. Um, also, what is this over here? Well, whatever it is, I can't seem to use it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go back to Ash and let's get him out of that cell. I hope I don't have to, like, escort him out of here again. <laughs> Alright, I think I checked everything. Now, let's head back. Alright, that's the right key. Thanks. You'll never see me again. I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever see this face again. Goodbye, Ash. Don't expect another rescue. Get out of here. Good luck in Canada. <laughs> Why Canada in particular? That's very random. <laughs> but okay. Um, yeah, but it looks like he's actually going to leave this place on his own this time and I don't have to uh, babysit him and now he's just gone I have no idea where he went but he probably just ran this way okay um and now that this is done uh, we still need to find the professor and we managed to free someone, but not the person we're actually looking for. So instead, uh, let's see. Yeah, we can probably continue through here. Currently, we seem to be safe. Alright. <laughs> More ammo. And into the next area. Ooh. What an unusual perspective. Oh, is this Herr Bach? Careful! Do you think that like one sniper shot is going to kill me? And apparently you even missed. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> I knew Johansen would lure the servant to Satan. <laughs> but I set this type for the arch fiend himself. Where is Lacroix? Well, you know where he is. He's in his tower in the penthouse. Do you really think Lacroix would come here personally to rescue the professor? If you do, you are even more stupid than I thought. Give me Johansson and I'll let you live. Lacroix, you think Lacroix would come here alone? <laughs> yeah, right. You're wasting your breath, mortal. I'll drain your body to the last drop. Let's just get the part where to the part where I kill you. <laughs> yeah, did you really think Lacroix would come here on his own? Perhaps when Lacroix runs out of minions, <laughs> he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it. Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? Nope, let's do this. You are the one who will be saying the last words. Know your place, mortal, and come bow in front of me when I get done with you. Even St. Peter won't recognize you. <laughs> ah, none of these uh, last words really resonate with me, so let's just uh, do this. 
All right, apparently we're going to fight him now. Okay, we have quite a few um, options to take cover here, although he apparently is systematically destroying them. Okay, I need to get a little bit closer in order to use like any of my skills. Also, I kind of like his shooting range here with the uh, vampire decoys. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Oh, oh, he can, he can just teleport somewhere else. Ah, huh. that is new. And now he's somewhere down here. All right. Okay, whenever I get too close to him, he's just teleporting away. Which also means that I can't properly use my Bloodsucker Communion because... Well, I might be if I don't attack him. No, he's not giving me any blood, so... I guess I'll have to uh, do this the hard way. So let's just use my my sword to kill him. Okay, now he's over here. All right, I mean, uh, the sword is doing some decent damage. So if I just avoid taking damage from his shotgun and keep following him around, I should be able to kill him eventually. <laughs> All right, let's do it this way. Yeah, I like his little vampire and werewolf shooting range here. All right, here we are again. <laughs> I mean, I get in like one or two hits before he's teleporting. Okay, where did he teleport to now? Okay, he's over here. Okay, yeah, this should work. It's going to take a few minutes, but I don't think it's going to be big problem for me. Are you up here again? No, I think he's somewhere down here. Okay, I can see him now. Alright. And he's teleporting. Okay, now he's going up here again. <laughs> so I guess this is what Jack meant when he said that some of these guys have powers. They actually do have supernatural powers of some sort. Okay, now he's down here again. Ah, you are very annoying, Grünfeldbach. Wouldn't even say you are that dangerous, but certainly annoying. Okay, now he's back here again. Right. Let's do this. Okay, he's almost almost defeated. Um okay, now he's over here again. <laughs> oh boy. I may have to drink a bit of blood to make sure my health doesn't go down all the way. Then again, his is probably going to deplete faster than mine. Let's find out. <laughs> Especially if you keep missing me like that. Okay, just one more time and he should be dead. Alright. You're going down, Mr. Bach. There we go. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's the end of Grünfeldbach. Not nearly as 
He rock as he probably would have liked. And he doesn't even drop any decent loot. That's a disappointment. Okay, um, let's have a look around here. Uh, this is kind of funny. So I'm guessing these are supposed to be werewolves, right? They are huge. I mean, if this uh, is to scale, then the werewolves are significantly larger than the vampires. Huh. Anyway, let's have a quick look around and then let's see where we need to go next. But I'm not really seeing anything of interest around here. Um, is there anything going on up here? Okay, we got a door. Um, hmm. Nothing too interesting in here, though. I told you everything. Oh. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Oh. Let me go. <laughs> this must be the professor, Dr. Johansen. Shut up. Tell me what you know about the encounter sarcophagus. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're Dr. Johansen. I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. <laughs> I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. There's a boat not far from here. Help me and I'll help you escape. I'm here to help you, Dr. Johansen. I need some information. Perhaps if you help me out, I'll let you go. Right. I'm sure we can come to some agreement here. Let's use the persuade option. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anything. Just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting <laughs> to get pneumonia. Okay. <coughs> so, tell me what you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus, please. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> but don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Uh, they won't be coming back. I'm pretty sure I killed all of them. I dealt with them. They won't give us any problems. Don't worry about them. Just answer my questions. I can make you answer my questions if I have to. <laughs> yeah, the, the guys are dealt with. Don't worry. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. Right. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you help me escape. Um, yeah, sure. All right. Where should I begin? What can you tell me about the sarcophagus? Spare me all the bullshit. How do I open the sarcophagus? No, I want to have all the details. Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. <laughs> Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Vaguely. Vaguely. No, yes, spare me all the bullshit. Um, I'm going to say no, because presumably this will give me more information. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. Okay, yeah, I mean, that is pretty basic. Go on. I always hated history in school. Keep going, I guess. No, please go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But uh, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. Okay, uh, please go on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Okay, and what king would that be? While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch... Mesarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, hmm. like a hmm. Dracula hmm. or something. I mean, it could be a vampire, or it could just be sloppy record-keeping. I mean, back then, uh, it may not be all that 
uh, accurate or we just uh, forgot about some of the kings because um, they weren't properly put into record. Um, so what does this have to do with sarcophagus, baby on the bullshit? Yeah, please elaborate. I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserach could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. Are you sure? Was he a vampire? Why don't you just open it and find out? Yeah, why didn't you try to open it? Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open I it. See. Usually we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray and take air samples before we pry <laughs> open the lid. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. You compared him to a vampire. Any reason for that? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Mm. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth, and... And? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Okay, so that's basically the um, grave engraving that we've seen uh, on, on the sarcophagus. The demon and the person drinking blood. Okay, but what is your scientific explanation? A disorder known as porphyria. <laughs> In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood, and in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. Interesting. So Maserak drank human blood. Porphyry, I think I might have that. <laughs> in a manner of speaking. So you think this king drank human blood, but he wasn't a vampire, he just needed it uh, because he had some kind of illness. Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me, I in no way believe it was a vampire. Hm. Vampires, that's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. Right. How did you find the Incarnate Sarcophagus? Do you really believe Maserak is inside the sarcophagus? Um, what else do you know about vampires? Um, yeah, how did you find the sarcophagus in the first place? Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, <laughs> following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. I'm sure it is, but I'm still interested in it. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's <laughs> job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. Do you really believe Maserak is inside the sarcophagus? Um, yeah. Do you think that? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you <laughs> it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. <laughs> okay, and what else do you know about vampires? I mean, he clearly doesn't believe in vampires, so I'm not sure if he knows a lot about them. Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for ah. Lilith. The first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. Fascinating. So, any idea how to open the sarcophagus? Ah, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, hmm. we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. Why no one ever found it and robbed it? It's perplexing. Because of Arnie, everyone was just too afraid of it. So, um, where is that key? 
How strange, you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dale oh. in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Okay, so the key was stolen while it was still on the Elizabeth Dane, probably. Um, and you don't happen to have a copy of the key, huh? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated, <laughs> and I meant to study it at the museum. Yes. I've answered all your questions. It belongs in a museum. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions <laughs> about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Fair enough. All right, I'll free you. There's a boat nearby. We can escape on it. Sorry, I'm afraid you know too much. Start screaming. Maybe someone will find you. I mean, he's an archaeologist. How could I not help an archaeologist? Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. Uh, no problem. I'm, I'm just here to help the science, you know. <laughs> also, he clearly doesn't believe in vampires, so even if he knows some mythological facts, that's hardly any kind of danger to actual vampires. But yeah, um, I guess the general consensus here is that um, it could be a vampire inside the sarcophagus, but it could also be uh, completely non-supernatural because there's a perfectly fine scientific explanation for everything. <laughs> so I don't really know any uh, more than before if um, the sarcophagus is actually supernatural. Anyway, the episode is getting very long, so I'm going to make a cut here and we will leave this place in the next one, hopefully. <laughs> so as always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.